Hello again. Anybody checking out Twitter, or even just Googling Tommy Robinson, London, and July the 27th, will see much to alarm them. The situation which is developing and will reach a climax day after tomorrow is unfolding with all the inevitability of a Greek tragedy. It is straight from the communist playbook and will unfold in precisely the way that similar events did in 1936 and during the 1970s. I know a little about this, for my family has something of a tradition when it comes to this game. My father and uncle were both party members in the 30s who fought against Mosley at Olympia and Cable Street, and I was myself involved in demonstrations against the National Front in the 1970s. I was at Red Lion Square in 1974 when Kevin Gately was killed. Here's how it is done. Marches by right-wing groups such as the British Union of Fascists, National Front and so on, were invariably peaceful and well-organised and well-behaved. They may have been staged to provoke, by, for example, going through Jewish parts of London or black areas, but all those taking part were under strict orders to behave respectably. They knew, though, that left-wingers would certainly turn up and attack them, whereupon they might legitimately defend themselves, and it would be obvious to everybody that it was the communists and their allies who had started the fighting. The police, of course, were always caught up in the violence as piggy in the middle. In short, although the National Front and the BUF knew that their actions would be seen as a provocation, it was not they who began throwing bottles or attacking the police. This would be done by left-wingers trying to get at them. There is every reason to suppose that exactly the same sequence of events is going to take place on Saturday. Tommy Robinson has called for people to assemble outside the Royal Courts of Justice at midday and then march to Trafalgar Square, where a meeting will be held. A very large number of left-wing groups, including branches of the Labour Party, the Socialist Workers' Party and various unions, have arranged to meet in London with the avowed intention of preventing Tommy Robinson's rally from taking place. These include fringe organisations such as the Media Workers for Palestine, the Black Liberation Alliance and so on, but also an umbrella group called Stand Up to Racism, backed by a dozen trade unions. It is almost certain that left-wingers will outnumber those rallying to the call of Tommy Robinson. Since the meeting in Trafalgar Square has been legally arranged and the march there will be a peaceful one, the police will be obliged to protect the right of those people to meet and speak. Thousands of people will try to stop them, which will result in violence and attacks on the police. This too has been a common thread since the mid-1930s. I have no stake in any of this. I am merely describing what has happened in the past and what is likely to happen on Saturday. It will be a very chaotic and violent day in central London, and everybody knows it, including Tommy Robinson, the police, and all the left-wing types who will be coming from across the kingdom for a punch-up. Trust me about this, I know I've seen it all before half a century ago.